Everything you need to know about the 2019 ECHL All-Star Classic. We meet another of the league's new coaches, and one team makes ownership changes. Both facts and figures, skating, are on this episode of ECHL Week. Welcome to another edition of ECHL Week. This time we come to you for the first time in a couple of seasons from the West Banco Arena in Wheeling, West Virginia, home of the Wheeling Nailers. We lead off today's show as we continue our Meet the Coaches feature, looking at all the new coaches from around the ECHL this season. Longtime ECHL fans might recall new Manchester Monarchs coach Doug Christensen from his North American pro playing days, after which he headed across the Atlantic Ocean and had a brief stint in Italy prior to a playing and coaching career in the United Kingdom's Elite League. So why has he returned to the ECHL? I coached for seven years uh, abroad. I loved it. It was uh, something that was a distinct privilege of my life and it was a lot of fun looking back on it. But eventually you have to decide are you an American or a European and I made the decision that I was American. I didn't leave coaching for that brief bit because uh, I wanted to. I did because it was family was more important for me. When this opportunity came, a place I played briefly in the American League, uh, I jumped at it and uh, couldn't be happier. The Milwaukee native pointed out significant differences between his playing days more than 10 years ago and the contemporary ECHL. The speed of the game in all levels has changed the way the game has been played in terms of the physicality. It's a little bit less, but the talent level the players have and the way in which they could attack and transition, it's fundamentally different than when I played. Uh, there's still passionate fan bases and it's still an exciting spot for players to, to hone their craft. And I also think that the model's changed. I think that you see the investment of NHL teams and how they view this as an opportunity to not just uh, have players uh, that might not have fallen out of favor, but rather as a real spot for them to develop. Christensen talks about the strategy he uses to attract players to play in New Hampshire with the Monarchs. I have conversations with players every summer, or this summer, where I said, and, and they didn't come. And I said the same thing to the guys who did, which is Manchester's led the league in call-ups the last three years. We will do it again this year. If you do well here, you will be able to move on. But you're going to have a strength coach and you're going to have workouts. We are going to have hard practices. We are going to do video. You are going to live in a cold weather climate. Um, if you want to be a hockey player, that's what we sell. It's easy to admire Christensen's attitude about his team, the ECHL, and the sport. I loved playing. I loved hockey. I still love hockey. Um, the best thing is playing in a big game. The second best thing is coaching a big game. And I want our players to feel that. I want them to love it. I want them to love coming to the rink because if you can't enjoy playing hockey, what are you going to enjoy? So that would be the hallmark and that would be what I would want our fans to be able to see and fans throughout the league to be able to know that our group is going to love coming together as a team. They're going to love competing because at the end of the day, their core value is that they love hockey. Special rules and special rosters. Get all set for the 2019 All-Star Classic straight ahead on ECHL Week. The ECHL season is here, and ECHL TV is your ticket to all the action. With streaming to your PC, phone, tablet, Apple TV, Chromecast, and Amazon Fire TV, you'll never miss a moment of the action. Plus, you can watch up to four games at once on PC with Quad View. Watch live or on demand with both home and away commentary. Single game and season passes are available. Visit ECHL.TV to subscribe. Alex Zakharopoulos of the Adirondack Thunder and you're watching ECHL Week. A change in team ownership leads off our news from all around the ECHL. Rapid City Rush owner Scott Mueller has announced a change in the ownership structure of the team. Longtime owners Barry and Luke Peterson have departed and a new partnership with Jeff Dickerson and TJ Pusher of Spire Sports and Entertainment has begun. I can't express how excited I am to have Jeff, TJ and Spire Sports and Entertainment as a part of the ownership group of the Rush. Their team will bring in new ideas, renewed energy, and commitment to our community, said Mueller, the team's majority owner. 
Spire Sports and Entertainment is a business involved with client representation, creative services, analytics, promotion, hospitality, and event management. Last year, Spire bought the charter of Furniture Row Racing and will participate in the NASCAR Monster Energy Cup Series this year. The group has also ventured into music and has worked with country music singer and songwriter Dirk Spentley. Spire also handles sales, marketing, and promotion for the Knoxville Raceway and the largest dirt track event in the United States, the Knoxville Nationals. The ECHL's All-Star Classic activities take place this weekend in Toledo. In addition to the All-Star event, there will be the induction of four new members into the league's Hall of Fame. Toledo Walleye head coach Dan Watson, who will be leading Team Hooks, one of the clubs made up of Walleye players, is looking forward to the event. But a significant aspect for the Walleye is that they have an important divisional clash with Fort Wayne the day prior to the All-Star Classic. That Monday All-Star game is going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be, you know, the three-on-three -three aspect of it. We get the overtime. We play a lot of small area games uh, within our practices already. So uh, I don't think there'll be any issue there. But I know our guys will be dialed in and focused for, you know, the bigger the bigger test, the bigger match on that Sunday against Fort Wayne. And some of these guys, it's an enjoyable day for them on that Monday, the All-Star game. And, and some guys may never play an All-Star game again. But to be able to host, uh, to be able to be a part of it, as a city, as an organization, as a player, as a coach, a staff member, uh, it's going to be real exciting. Veteran Toledo forward Greg Wolf is also looking forward to the event and a different atmosphere than that of a regular season game. The guys that are participating, it's a low stress, you know, fun uh, event. So I think there's a lot to gain from it. And, you know, we have really great fans here in Toledo, so I'm sure we'll have a really, you know, good turnout. And uh, it should be fun for them just to see, you know, a little different style of hockey. A little bit more fun, maybe showing off a little more skill and you know less less gritty. So uh, it should be a really good event. What about the coaching strategy for the All Stars? I think just let the players do what they want to do out there for the most part. At the end of the day, these guys are so skilled. Uh, they've been playing the game for a long, long time, and, and they want to try new things and, and not get yelled at by a coach and, and things like that. So let them go have fun, enjoy it. But at the same time, it is still a competition. It's still we have something on the line uh, in terms of wins, losses. We're a proud organization. And so for us to go against the ECHL All-Stars, uh, all the remaining teams, I think it's going to be a challenge for our guys as well. Um, I think our fans are really going to enjoy it, so uh, we're, we're excited for that. We're excited for them and all around. I, I just think it's going to turn out to be a really good experience. I think, you know, just, just the activities that are planned around the city, at the arena, uh, you know, obviously the, the Hall of Fame ceremony inductions, all, all that kind of stuff that goes into and hosting an ECHL All-Star game. It's going to be a neat experience for all our guys in there, and that's what it boils down to, and it's experience. They get to play on the NHL network something some of these guys have never done before so I just think everything that surrounds it will be fun and then the gameplay hopefully it's exciting for the fans that's what we're trying to create here is a little bit of excitement do something different once again and and it seems like everything our organization does uh, turns out extremely extremely good so uh, I'm looking forward to that the next ECHL week show which will debut on Friday February 1st will feature a roundup of the all-star classic and comments from all of the new ECHL Hall of Famers one of the best central teams does battle with a top Mountain Division club. The highlight game is next on ECHL Week. Hey, it's a loser lot! <laughs> Thou has the patchy beard of a prepubescent squire! <laughs> <laughs> Thy armor was forged by a feeble-fingered peasant woman. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom! As long as hecklers love to heckle, you can count on Geico saving folks money. Boring. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hi, I'm Chris Collins of the Kalamazoo Wings, and you can tweet me at C underscore Collie. Now it's time to take a look at our highlight game of the week. Let's go, Baylor! Cleaned up, kept in, nourished the shot, and is rifled wide. Good move by Payne to Deacon. Chris Dillstein, score! 
Bowles. Jeff Crisfield with a snapshot for the near side point. And as Robbie Payne to deflect it right between the legs of Nagel. Gates and body of one walleye player. Now right side, Hunter Smith comes in. Backdoor play, and that one goes in. Hunter Smith rushing on the right side and answering off the back door. Dylan Sadoe. Left side wall that comes. Fed over to Sadoe. Right circle, kicks it, shoots it, and he scores. Sadoe set up by a screen in front by A.J. Jenks, and he had just enough room on that shot. Ricky Cash, right side. Free Petra comes in down low. Pearl shoots. He scores! Reed Petra just blew by the wall line of fence. Got the edge around and slipped that backhand by Nagle. Up the left side. He curls through center logo. Plays it to Kukowski. Right side. Snap to shot. He scores! Nolan Kukowski, a bullet going far down on Nagle. Wall line now the power play. Once again, shot by Hensick, far side. The rebound may score. Hensick laid it off the path of Show and a found a player off the back door to just slot it in the back of the net. Swatted down by Jenks, sticked up by either side, and scooted up by Payne and bent back. And followed near side. He scores! Contre follow the rifle from outside the left circle. He cut an open lane. Register and Federal. Taken away, Spencer now stripped of shoots and scores! Sell out crowd this evening. Help the Steelhead push ahead, and they take a 5-3 win over the Toledo Walleye. They sweep the weekend against Toledo. That wraps up another edition of ECHL Week from Wheeling, West Virginia. Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us on all those social media channels. There they are. Keep up to date on everything that's going on throughout the ECHL while you're waiting for the next ECHL week to come your way. We'll see you in two weeks as we report from Toledo about the ECHL's All-Star Classic and Hall of Fame induction ceremony from 2019. See you then.